All right, Scorpio cross watchers are going to go into part three of Mars retrograde squaring off planet Saturn just to tie this all up. Um, again, uh, once I get into the Saturn hour today, um, I'll be doing messages from planet Saturn because it's gone direct. Okay. And um, when I get back into the sun hour, again, we'll do... Um, a message from bonus message from Archangel Michael and what he wants to say about all this crazy ass energy going on. So in part two, we left off with the seven of swords. And yes, in the past, they were your person was lying. They were lying about full blown out commitment. They were persuaded by meddling energies. And this is also too about taking effective strategy. Because you go from the seven and you're working your way down to the six of swords because there's a judgment call here. So we have the tower, justice, judgment, karma, karma, karma. What goes around comes around. What goes around comes around. What goes around comes around. Okay. So Archangel Michael, uh, show me planet Saturn and planet Mars as well. Um, let's see. They're, they're, I can't tell if they're pulling me towards seven of swords or the judgment. Seven of swords. Hang on a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How is Scorpio or their person going to strategize so that they can get into the Emperor energy and bring in this Ten of Cups and get into the Six of Swords, get out of toxic situations, um, putting a stop and end to basically meddling family members, karmic this, karmic that. The Page of Swords. Wow, they're coming. <laughs> This is the um, the harpy, and the harpy in the Game of Thrones wasn't exactly nice. Um, yeah, like I said, there could be some cutting words that somebody is gonna say to somebody, or in regards to your person and the meddling energy. Somebody here is definitely gonna get cut out. There's some energies that are gonna get cut out. Somebody's had enough. That's what that, that's what I've, I'm picking up. Because my eyes are fixated on this King of Swords. Um, I'm hearing... Uh, somebody's raising their voice to meddling energy. Saying, how could you have blindsided me? I'm, I'm hearing somebody is getting up in somebody's face. I'm seeing this. I mean, somebody is really in a pissed off mood. I keep hearing this, like, you blindsided me, you blindsided me. How could you, how could you have done this? I'm hearing a door slam. This is somebody telling the meddling energy. Either this is happening in the now or it's coming up very soon. This meddling energy is crazy. Very toxic. Somebody's going to be using some very cutting edge words. It's almost as if I'm seeing somebody give somebody the double middle finger on both hands. A lot of aggression. Message from the Page of Swords, Archangel Michael, Planet Saturn, Planet Mars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is somebody here also to Scorpio or vice versa is spying in on somebody's social media activity? Or YouTube channel. Yeah. They're in observation because they want to come back. I said blast from the past energy. I said somebody from the past is returning. The Six of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy on the board. When I say that there's a lot of love, despite the sharp tongue... Somebody here may just start fighting and standing up for what is right. A 
I'm hearing somebody say I'm done. Facing the meddling energy, I'm done with you. I'm seeing suitcases. Or somebody's throwing some stuff out of the house, literally on the lawn. Somebody here wants to return. This could be blast from the past energy. Somebody you might have known from grade school, high school, middle school, sweethearts, blast from the past. It could be, you know, long-term business partnerships, past life connections. Seen um this karmic <clears throat> energy is when I say cuckoo, crazy, bottom of the deck, the traitor card. Somebody here, I hate to say it, but I keep seeing it. Somebody here might try to slash somebody's tires. The karmic. The backstabbers and betrayers of true love, they are going down. Reconciliation wants to come forward, you guys, through this Six of Cups and the Star card. But it's like, here's the, the love is trying to come forward, but I'm picking up the rage. I'm picking up the anger, the frustration. Somebody's saying, don't leave me, don't leave me. That's a karmic. Somebody's mother might be saying that. Or karmic girlfriend. There's a narcissistic karmic boyfriend. Belittling. His words are mumbled though. I'm, the karmic boyfriend, the words, I it can't make everything out, but it, 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 mumbling. Somebody's had enough of some form of abuse. That's why somebody may be needing to pack up. I mean, you guys, this is not good. Ten of Swords. Message from the Six of Cups. One, two, three, four, five, six. How is this person from the past going to return? Archangel Michael, Planet Mars, and Planet Saturn. How are they going to return? The Four of Wands in this deck is the Spears, but Four of Wands activity, Twin Flame, Soulmate, eleven eleven Connection. Get ready. They're on their way. They're going to learn some major hardcore lessons here. Message from the Six of Swords, Archangel Michael. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're headed towards the sun. Power of Leo. And Archangel Michael's energy coming in through the sun for success. The light is going to shine again. Getting out, getting away from the freaking Night King, basically. I said the Night King. It's like Mars squaring off Saturn. That's the Night King coming forward. Judgment. Again, bottom of the deck, the Three of Cups, but in the reverse. Getting away from toxic meddling energies. Message from Judgment, Archangel Michael, Planet Saturn, Planet Mars. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Judgment, what do you want to say? Judgment on the traitors. The backstabbers and betrayers of true love. Huh. It's so weird, but I'm hearing an old song from ELO, ELO, Electric Light Orchestra, Don't Bring Me Down. Well, think again. This energy is going to go down. This energy is going to go down. 
Show me what this traitor energy is with the Ten of Swords, Archangel Michael. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Enter the dragon. Somebody has had enough. I think what this is, some of you had backstabbing and betraying <clears throat> more specifically, either by a Leo or a Cancerian energy more specifically. Not for all of you. Enter the dragon. Some of you guys like Bruce Lee. Somebody is going to race and charge ahead and get the hell away from this Ten of Swords meddling activity. Dragon's not going down. Mm-mm. Somebody could be packing up their stuff in their car or making plans behind the scenes. Coming forward and charging ahead, getting the hell out of Dodge from their environment in order to come and have this sun's energy here to have major success. What is this chariot? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Using their intuition. Piscean energy. Secrets are also too going to get revealed from the traitors. These traitors have been holding massive secrets. Mothers, fathers, aunts, uncles, brothers, cousins, ex Girlfriends, ex-boyfriends, med meaning meddling. And karmic girlfriends, karmic boyfriends. Ex-wife, ex-husband. They've been holding back secrets, but this again is about opening up your third eye. Crown chakra, divine intervention and divine wisdom and guidance. And what did I say in part one? Call on the energy of planet Neptune. Combine that energy with your guardian angels. Combine that energy with your spirit guides. Combine that energy with Archangel Michael. It's all intertwined, you guys. Somebody is going to get the wisdom, the clarity, and discernment because this meddling energy put both you and your person in flux. Somebody here has a passed on loved one that was a Pisces. Message from the sun, Archangel Michael. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Here you'll find divine intervention. Wisdom, guidance, marriage, fidelity, commitment, sign of Taurus, charging ahead for the sun, reconciliation, message from the high priestess, one, two, the knight of wands, communication has probably been in and out, or they're trying to trust their divine, in, divine guidance. Or somebody here wants to relocate. It could be a secret right now that your person wants to relocate to come and be with you. Because the Knight of Spears, like the Knight of Wands, can be about relocation or advancement as well. Message from the Knight of Spears. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The Three of Coins. Teamwork and collaboration. This person may be confiding secretively with only maybe two trusted friends. That they may find really only truly give them support. Or that they feel that they can go to in secrecy. And open up 
to let them know how they feel about things, how they feel about their family, how they feel about the karmics, and how they feel about you. Somebody here might be asking a friend for some help to get them organized, to move in charge ahead. Message from the Hero Font. One, two, three, four, five. To come in for reconciliation, you guys. Two of Cups. Major hardcore lessons that are going to be learned. Your person is going to fall hard. They're going to fall hard, you guys. And like I said, somebody here needs to humble themselves because I saw that coming off of the Prince of Cups. They may be a king or a queen in your eyes. And there is a lot of love here, but somebody has to humble themselves and start paying attention to their intuition. This is all about intuition, you guys. I think them, yes, there's love here. Yes, there's reconciliation. Yes, there's somebody coming back from the past. Yes, this is about the person that you love the most. But the main focal point is intuition. And because somebody didn't pay attention to the red flags, havoc, chaos, confusion, delusional energy, this is probably what it's going to take for your person to have the star moment, to have the, the wake-up call. The wake-up call is here four times, you guys. Tower, star card, justice, judgment, and actually five times, wheel of fortune. Some of them are going to come back crying and begging you for forgiveness. Some of them will get down on their knees and cry at your feet or at your legs, lower legs. A lot of intense energy. Know that your person is thinking about you. A lot of traitors. So sad. Some of you trusted their family. And they're the ones that backstabbed and betrayed the relationship. That is very heartbreaking. You thought that the, you could trust their mothers. You thought that you could trust their father or their sister or their brother. Or the cousins. Or the grandparents. Mm -mm. Trust was broken. The bridges, a lot of the bridges were burned. And any apology that from some of these meddling energies, you guys, it was all false. False. They're liars. Archangel Michael knows this. Oh, he knows. He knows. And so do I. And so do you. Reconciliations here. Message from the Two of Cups. Archangel Michael, planet Saturn, planet Mars. One. Two. Two. Nine of Spears, like the Nine of Wands, somebody here has to have the perseverance and determination to humble themselves, to go the distance, to stop holding on to these toxic family members. A lot of your partners can learn to love these family members from a distance. In fact, bottom of the deck, the Eight of Wands, from a very far distance rapid fire communication let's see what this is all about one two 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And some of you have been seeing crows. Yeah, there are going to be some endings, you guys. The crows are not a bad thing. Three of swords. Yes, you guys have already gone through this in the past. But there, the meddling energy, it's coming to an end. And when your partners find out the truth about their family members, what they were doing behind the scenes, some of the, these meddling energies out of spite to, to even hurt your person even more. Because in some regard, they have no soul. Some of them don't. They think they do, but they don't. You know, it's, it's because, again, they're not on the 5D. These meddling energies are, again, are thinking on the 2 and the 3D. When the truth gets revealed, when they find out the truth about their mother or the aha moment kicks in or somebody gets a revelation in their dreams or passed on loved ones come into their dreams to forewarn them, there is a breakup going on. If your person is dealing with somebody else, According to my cards, there's a breakup going on or it's coming. It's headed this way. And there will be a breakup of your person and their family members. Because they didn't keep the twin flame soulmate 1111 connection alive and well. Because the toxic mentally energies knew what they were doing. They put your person into a self-imposed prison. Either you know this Scorpio or your person does. Mm -mm. That's why I say do your best not to focus so much on your person right now. Let the planets, God's planets, the universe's planets, Archangel Michael, the trusted ancestors on the other side, the ones that actually support this relationship, let them handle this. Release, let go. Focus in on you. Get into emperor mode. Focus in on you, your personal dreams and goals, because this is, that will bring you to the Ten of Cups. That will bring you to the Ten of Cups moment. Emotional joy and contentment. A lot of you have had so much clouded judgment about your person because there's pain, there's heartbreak. Yeah, I get it. Archangel Michael doesn't want you to be in that energy. He doesn't want you to be confused. Your ancestors don't want you to be confused. Your ancestors who have your best interest at heart. There's union that's on the way, but sometimes the bull crap just has to get out of the way first, you guys. So what you do in the meantime, it's about you first. And then real clarity will come forward where you're not going to feel aggravated. You're not going to feel so much pain. We have to get through all of these planetary transitions. It's about learning lessons. It's about increasing, again, your spiritual side. You have your practical side and then you have your spiritual side. So this is what's According to my cards today, and how Mars and Saturn are squaring off, it is going to be intense. Yeah. It's going to be intense. But you will get through this. That's the thing. You will get through this energy. Your person will get through the energy. A lot of major hardcore lessons that will be learned before the end of 2020. So, Scorpio, 
cross watchers thank you so much for the love and support of my channel thank you for all of the compliments of how my readings have been helping you guys and for even new subscribers I've been getting some emails from you guys saying how my readings are helping you get through your situation honestly that's that's the biggest compliment I think I could ever get I'm passionate about love I believe in the Institute of Marriage I believe in partnerships If I can help that person to look at life in a different direction, then I know I'm, I'm, I'm doing my job correctly here. It's about you guys getting to where you need to be. It is about ultimate joy. It is about ultimate happiness. It starts with you first, always. Nobody else, just you. You and the universe and whatever you label God energy as. You're here on this earth for a reason. And some of you guys are not at your highest advancement right now. Yet there is a yearning and a longing to raise frequency, to become better. To get to your highest purpose. What you're truly meant to do here while you are living and breathing. It's not just about your person. There is love here. Your person does care about you. They do love you. They are battling. And they're going to learn from their mistakes. So. I'll be back for Planet Saturn reading. And... Messages from Archangel Michael today. If you'd like to book a personal reading, do it through the power of the num <coughs> excuse me, power of the numbers. You can hit me up at blue scorpion gifts at gmail.com and I'll be back before you know it. Take care.